This segment of UB Basketball Insider is brought to you by Ficta, Indel, and Elmer Eye Care. Focused on you. Welcome back to UB Basketball Insider. It's time to take a clear vision look at the UB women's basketball team. Brought to you, as always, by Ficta, Endel, and Elmer Eye Care. And nobody's got a better 2020 view of the women's basketball team than head coach Felicia Leggett. Jack, let's talk about a big week for your team that starts today, a 2.30 tip-off against the Miami Redhawks, part of the doubleheader with the men's team. This will be your second time playing Miami. Give us a little scouting report. Well, Miami, they're young just like we are. You know, they have 11 freshmen and sophomores, and we have young, a young team as well. And, uh, you know, I, they're good. They can shoot it. They're tall. They're going to be long. Um, from the point guard, they have a point guard that's six foot two. They got a, a center that's six foot four. And they, they're, their wing players are 5'11. So they're going to be tall. They're, they're, their best point guard that, 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 start, that comes off the bench, number 21, she's a strong, stocky kid, but she's 5'9. So they have a very tall team. We have a very hungry team. And we just got to get over the hump. When uh, it, the first game in late January against them, Joanna Smith, one of the many games she had more than 20 points in the game. When a, when a player does that to a team the first time, how, how, what kind of reaction do you expect from them? Are they going to say, we're not going to let her score 20 points this time, we're going to change our defense? In, in the scouting world, how do you anticipate that a team will adapt to having seen you one time around and having one player have a great game? Well, I, I think they're going to, you got to notice jo- Joanna Smith, she's the leading scorer in the entire conference right now. Um, so she has to recognize the, the, the girth of the defense that's going to be on her. But we have to have some people step up. You know, right now, Brittany Morrison is playing a, a tremendous game, and she's going to start for us today uh, at the power forward spot. She's playing strong. She's not the best passer I've ever seen. But you know what? You, you, you can't stop her from going to the basket. So if we can get her to give us another double-double like she did last game, and if we can get Stephanie to, to be able to – put the ball up in the air as opposed to trying to break a press all by herself like she did at our last game. They can do whatever they want to, to Joanna because the other two hopefully will, will be able to help us. Even beyond that, when Brittany steps up and comes off the bench and has the double-double like she did against Eastern Michigan, what does that say about where your depth is at? Because we've seen that all year long. You use a lot of players and you've gotten contributions from a lot of players. Well, we're looking for some starters. <laughs> and we, we've it's the all, curse of having we, a lot of depth, absolutely. right? Absolutely. The, the re- that's the reason why we have depth because the people that's on the bench should be practicing hard enough to start and so we're really trying to find starters who can start us we've always we've been starting slow for the last four or five games and we're looking for somebody to jump starters so now with Brittany going to be in the lineup will we start faster I think that it's very important because energetically we're going to be we're in shape to go 40 45 minutes but our start has been just really tough I just Maybe you can help me come, come up with a pregame speech or something. I don't know. I, I, somehow I don't think I can do any better than you have. Uh, you got the big one today, and then you're right back home again on Wednesday against Bowling Green, the team you just beat a little over a week ago. Stephanie Reed had a big game in that one. Do you like seeing teams so tightly packed together like that within the time frame? You know, it is the season. And, you know, if they're planning on going to another level, you're going to see a same, the same team two or three times in a week. And so it is what it is. Anybody that would put on a different uniform – that, that can allow us to play this beautiful game called basketball, let it let it come. Whether we play them today, in, in two weeks we play them again, or it really doesn't matter. You just got to be ready to go. Right. Win one for the Gipper. You drop that into one of your pregame speeches, right? That's a right? good one. It's a little old, but, you know, you and I are old school. We win one for the Gipper, Ooh, right? I love and they'll it. all look at you and go, who, who, yeah, who's yeah, a Gipper? Gipper? What's a Gipper? Yeah, right? Let me Google that. Let me get my, where's my phone, Coach? Everything's on the Google phone. Google that, right? <laughs> hey, uh, congratulations on the way things have gone. Good luck. Uh, big part of the doubleheader again later today, the men at noon, and then Felicia's women's team at 2.30 against Miami. Think Pink is uh, play think for Pink. K- yeah, think pay, play for KO. Uh, that's very important. Cancer awareness and more importantly to me my mom is dealing with Alzheimer's right now so some real stuff is happening outside get outside of our own self you know we want to win games we want to play hard we want to win one for the Gipper but there's something bigger out there that, that's called life and let, let's understand that we can be more if we extend ourselves outward to help others and we're going to play for K and we're going to also play for to, to, to combat uh, Alzheimer's as well because it's near and dear to my heart alright well good luck with all of that then we're, we're, we're praying for you there so. thank you so much Felicia Leggett Jack is the UB women's basketball head coach. Much more to come on UB Basketball Insider. 
Support the new Basketball Excellence Fund and help build a strong foundation for years to come. You can play a critical role in shaping the success of UB basketball while also getting exclusive benefits and opportunities. Log on to bullsblueandwhite.com for more information.